energy is wonderful it's brilliant it's good um, it is um, uh, in, in, in changing from um, positive energies okay so um, you need to understand what is transpiring at this time so let's see because this month of June have um, four weeks um, the first week you guys have the energy of uh, um, the princess of cups the energy of the princess of cups okay we're going to be looking deeply to see who is this princess of cup and what as it has to do okay and then we have the energy of um, the organization um, the elephant so um, this princess of cups have a situation to do with an organization okay then we have the third and we have the energy of the Empress and the energy of the Empress is a wonderful energy, so um, we are going to be seeing what is happening, okay? And then the last week, what do we have? We have the energy of the King of Pentacles, okay? So there's obviously a situation that is um, going to be transpiring um, in this month because we have water in the first week, which is the Princess Cup, and it's a situation. Um, whoever this lady is is um, connecting with an organization and this organization has to do with work or your stability and there is someone who is in this organization who is the king of Pentacles okay so um, let's see what is going to be transpiring because obviously for some people um, it's as if you have to deal and listen to your uh, intuition because um, your intuition is guiding you to something because your intuition um, is, is informing you about this this person she is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion that is working in an organization so this could be someone who is helping you to find work or that sort of a um, situation or an organization which is work hospital um, Institutes um, insurance and that sort of a thing, and this person, this organization, is as if they're trying to either find people for work, or um, it could be because it has to do with stability. It has to be doing with stability and that sort of a thing, and 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 then you have the energy of the King of Pentacles. So whoever the situation is, um, it's as if this person. Um, you're going to be meeting up on the night of Pentacles in this organization so let's see what is going on what is the situation that is happening with the princess of cup in this organization the seven of wands you're protecting yourself from um, um, someone you're protecting yourself from a lady who works in an organization you're really really protecting yourself from this person whoever this person is um, you're protecting yourself from this person what is happening with um, the Emperor because it's an achievement the Emperor is always the energy of an achievement and um, it's as if some of you have this effect but let's look and see what is happening for them the um, there is energy of the Queen of Wands the energy of the Queen of Wands so it's an organization whatever this organization is whatever the situation is um, there is um, with this this organization and situation and it has to do with this Queen of Wands okay whoever this Queen of Wands is you're trying to protect yourself from this Queen of Wands so let's going to see um, because it's as if some of you have to deal with someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn a masculine figure in um, the last week and it has to do with an organ uh, with you know your accomplishment and that sort of a thing so let's see um, what is happening here and then you have the three of Pentacles the three of Pentacles so um, some of you and let's recap this because there's obviously a lot of stuff that is going to be taking place it's as if if you have a situation to do with insurance company um, whatever institutes the organization you're fighting for an injustice um, situation that has been done and that sort of a thing because here um, you are dealing with someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and they're between the ages of 20 
25 and, tw and, and 45 and you're trying to protect yourself from um, these people and it has to do with an organization so it could be some people you know not feeling comfortable where they live and there and, and uh, or, but it has to do with something that do with insurance company um, people who you have to deal with every day dealing with uh, to pay your bills uh, the the um, the, the electric company the utility company something you're dealing with but it's a young person and this person you're trying to protect yourself from okay then when we look in um, the second week going to the third week it has something to do with you uh, um, an achievement you are trying to um, deal with something which have to do with an achievement an achievement you're trying to make a goal you're trying to make something of your life and it has to do with some achievement for yourself and this is going to be good because what is here and what is going to be transparent is that you there is an organization and in this organization you also some of you have to deal with someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so whatever is transparent in this organization you have to deal with this um, um, Queen of Wands who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian and this situation that is happening is that you or you know you're going to be overcoming um, whatever the situation that this person tried to do to you you know you're going to overcome it and just kind of walk away from it and leave these people then um, we are having because some of you are working with someone it's as if your boss it's as if there's an achievement that is going to be coming but your boss is someone who's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn be aware of this and um, try to be positive as we move forward we have the energy of the um, the seven of ones you stand in your ground and protecting yourself against the queen of ones and you are going to be victorious over this okay whatever is happening you're going to be extremely victorious over this because um, you are going to be realizing that um, you you know you're going to be um, overcoming whatever the situation is because it's as if this lady whoever this Aries Lee or Sagittarius person is it's as if she's um, you know lying about the situation and then um, the organization is going to be um, uh, you know looking at the situation and, and, and it's going to be understanding what is transpiring and this is going to be good um, so as we move forward we're looking at this Queen of Wands and working together because this Queen of Wands is working is as if this woman is working against you um, with someone who were was your boss and it's all for the money okay and here you have the energy of the Empress so the energy of the Empress comes in and um, um, whoever this person is that is working against you it is all for money so be aware of an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person and this person is working against you because um, she is trying to um, um, as, as if um, she is um, she's working against you because she she was paid to do this okay she was paid to do this but she's gonna be they're gonna be find out because obviously um, when you see the energy of um, the lovers and the Empress whoever this lady is this Aries Leo or Sagittarius is a nasty person it's a really nasty piece of work okay it's an extremely nasty piece of work and what is happening is that um, this person whoever the lovers and the Empress the lovers and the Empress so what is happening is that this person is selling one of you out um, to an organization you know because you have the organization here and she's selling you out to the organization for money very sick very sick and trust me um, the Aries people will do it the Leo's not really Sagittarians are like it's not my business you know I'm not doing that but whoever this person is it's kind of sick for them because and I'm, I'm going to take another look at this um, the energy of uh, the lovers and the Empress comes up this is a wonderful positive let's see what is the outcome so the outcomes is the nine of cups happiness and a joy okay happiness and joy so let's um, look at the situation what is going on let's look at the situation what is going on okay 
let's look at the situation the nine of cups the outcomes is going to be the nine of cups okay so all right here we go um because you obsolete um people or um with four energies um whatever the situation is is as if you obsolete people are with four energies okay um what i'm seeing happening here because um, the energy of the emperor, emperor is um, um, the energy of the emperor is always the energy of accomplishment okay it's always the energy of accomplishment it is all about the accomplishment it's all about you um, you know and the air vent is always um, the compliment of the eye princess okay and you have the energy of the eye princess so this is good it's actually a wonderful positive month because this is going to be um, very positive and what is happening here and what is um, transpiring is that the air event is the compliments of the eye princess but yet still it's the energy of the compliment of the the you know the earth signs is bringing um, balance into your world and that sort of a thing now what is taking place is that in the contrast um, with the Empress you have the Emperor who is you know the representing of your feelings and that sort of a thing the Emperor represent um, objective and the power of the will willpower is um, um, inundated and um, energetic and a self-reliance and although it is a more normality of um, associated with the hurt and success okay so you're having success some of you a lot of you are having um, a lot of success okay and um, um, with the energy of the Emperor there is a lot of success that is is coming in for you with the energy of the Emperor there is um, a lot of success that is coming in for you okay whatever the situation is is there a lot of success that is going to be coming in for you okay so what we've seen here and th there is so many things that is coming out because you guys are of four um, energies and it, it is a karmatic situation that has to do with um, the karma but um, what is happening is that um, is as if someone um, who is an, 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 an Capricorn is going to be helping you guys out so let's say that you're married um, a Capricorn is going to be coming in and um, helping you out in a situation I'm sorry but I need to ask who is this person and what because a Capricorn is going to be coming in and helping out a situation who is this person she's a um, she has to do with work whoever this person has has to do with work but whatever is going on is that um, the energy is that because um, this definitely has to do with work it, it's going to affect the people who are working and they're going to be um, you know people who are going to be helping you out okay because I'm seeing here um, the perfect match for a situation and um, the, the message is that um, you are going to be happy okay let's see what is going to be the outcomes okay it's a beautiful beautiful um, the outcomes is going to be a, a positive outcome so your, your wishes and dreams are going to be coming um, through and this is going to be wonderful okay um, um, so let's see what is happening with this What's happening with this okay yeah it's gonna be a positive outcome good news okay so um, we're moving on to the next half of the reading and we are going to be looking at the love money and career love money and career um, for you guys so first let's look at your general energies for the Kings um, 45 and older um, what is going to be there in um, this um, there is a message that is coming at you there is message information that is going to be coming at you message and information that is going to be coming at you and this could be overwork and um, that sort of a situation but information is going to be coming at you for the the women you're going to be the star so whatever is happening you're going to be the star 
you are really going to be the star um, this is going to be extremely wonderful so the women over um, um, 45 and older you're going to have the energy of the star and then we have um, the king of swords coming up for the people um, you're gonna be the uh, you know for the people 45 years and older you're going to have to deal with uh, um, 25 till 45 um, you're going to have to be dealing with someone who is who is the king of swords so it's, this is an older man over the age of 40 okay let's look and see for the people 15 till 25 what is going to be happening the energy of the world you're going to be okay um, there's an end coming to a situation and a new beginning that is about to start for you guys so this is going to be good let's look at your financial situation to see and first we're looking at the men over 45 what will be your financial situation it's going to be a time when you're going to be taking the time to plan to plan um, out your financial situation you're going to be taking the time to plan out your financial situation so um, for the men over 40 uh, 40 you're going to be taking some time to plan out of a situation and then um, the situation is going to be good then as we move on and look at lady over 45 ladies over 45 with your money you're um, you're really planting you're you're doing something um, you're looking at new ways of making money you are looking at new ways of making money whatever the situation is you are looking at new ways of making money and this is going to be good okay so you're um, it's as if you're thinking about starting a new um, your own little um, new business and that sort of a thing and it's it's going to be good okay as we look at the people 25 to 45 what's happening for you guys in money you have um, justice you have justice whatever the situation is um, you have justice so let's say there was an um, you know a lawsuit or that sort of a thing you have justice so that means um, you're going to win whatever the lawsuit is you have um, justice um, over whoever was this king this um, person who is an Aquarius Gemini or Sagittarius let's say that there was a situation that you have um, a situation with you have um, win this situation okay and then the outcomes um, for the people with money there is going to be a little transformation in here so but people 15 years and older there is going to be some transformation in your um, financial section okay there is going to be some um, endings of uh, some situation and new beginnings okay all right let's move forward and look at um, love let's move forward and look at love for um, you guys to see what is happening in love for the men 45 and older men 45 and older um, the energy of the eye princess comes up twice so I guess your spirit guides are trying to connect with you some of you are really asking and calling up your um, twin flame and soulmate and um, this is the situation that is happening at this moment and what is going to be transpiring is that um, you are going to be seeing that um, a lot of positive situation are going to be coming up but you have need to listen to your own intuition when it comes on to love for the men 45 and older let's look at the ladies 45 and older what is coming up for love for you guys you have the energy of the hermit you need to really look at yourself you really really need to look at yourself whatever the situation is you really really need to take a good good look at yourself and your relationship um, what how you have um, let the situation um, use you in what sort of a way and um, you are going to be looking at yourself and seeing yourself for um, exactly who you are and, and who it is so be aware of this okay let's move on to the people 25 years to 45 years what is there for love in the month of June a new love is coming in new love is coming in a new positive love is coming in this is so wonderful so positive new positive love is coming in and this is going to be wonderful okay 
um, let's um, go forward and we're going to be looking to see what is going to be happening what is going to be transpiring in um, for the people 15 years to 25 years 15 years to 25 years what is going to be happening um, um, a breakthrough is going to be coming true a breakthrough so there is going to be um, a positive positive June for you guys because there's going to be an ending coming um, to situations in your life but and a new start because an ending bring transformation and this transformation is going to bring you um, new information and this is going to be positive okay so um, wonderful wonderful energies um, that are coming out for you guys basically um, these are you know positive um, situation that are going to be coming in um, very very positive situation that are going to be coming in a lot of you are dealing with karmatic situation okay a lot of you are really dealing with karmic the karmatic situation um, and what you're seeing here is that um, I, the general energy is that is showing up not to worry about anything because um, you are going to have a good outcome so let's look at the zodiac energy the fire people people who were born um, between the hours of 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. you are going to be dealing with a Pisces and the Aries you're going to be dealing with the Pisces and the Aries and you can see this coming up because you guys are going to be dealing with the Pisces and the Aries because you can see this um, this um, princess of cups who's a Pisces can be a Pisces cancer or scorpion that you have to deal with in the first week and um, um, adjoining the second week to the third week um, and the second week to the third week you have to deal with because there's a woman in an organization and it has to do with um, there's a woman in an organization that has to do with work for you guys and has to do with you know achievement success and that sort of a thing is an Aries person so um, that's where the energy of the Aries come in so let's look and see what is happening for um, the lunar people we have the energy of uh, um, Venus love the energy of planet the love planet is coming in which is wonderful and let's see what is happening because um the energy of, um, of of Venus um, that is coming in it has to do with some marriage marriage um, engagement expect marriage and engagement in um, this month the energy of the eye princess is showing you something there is um, an offer of marriage that is going to be coming in and this is going to be um, a very good there's an offer of marriage that is going to be coming in and this is going to be very good and you're going to be um, married off to the, the Virgos the Virgos okay so there is um, that Knight of Pentacles that um, came up in the last week okay this Knight of Pentacles that came up in the last week so you people who were born after 7 7 p.m. Um, in the evening till 6 uh, till um, 12 p.m. at night you are going to be dealing with um, the Virgos and it's going to be love you guys are going to be connecting with the Virgos and it's going to be powerful powerful love in the last week okay year month which is wonderful is going to come out with the nine of cups your wishes and dreams are coming true okay um your wishes and dreams are coming true I you know I need you guys to take a look because um, this reading is going to be put up so that you guys can see because what I'm seeing here I'm seeing some of you dealing with the organization and I'm seeing some of you dealing with work and with the work situation um, some of you are working with the king of Pentacles that is in Virgos Taurus or a uh, Capricorn and you guys are going to be working in conjunction together but there um, it's as if the connection between you and this organization um, there is the princess of cups who is uh, between the two so um, whoever does this queen of ones is a wonderful person is a good person and whatever this organization you know stand your grounds and make sure stand strong with this person okay 
um, what I'm seeing is that there is an um, an organization stand your ground and protect yourself against this person um, with the energy of the lovers you know a lot of you and this is going to be a good connection if you could if you take someone is going to be receiving an offer if you take this offer it's going to be good okay um, um, the lovers and the Empress the energy of the lovers and the Empress and energy of the lover is always um, the, your soulmate or twin flame and this could be that some of you are going to be partner up or getting married or getting involved with a Capricorn okay this this is here some of you could be married or getting involved with a Capricorn or this Capricorn person could be coming um, coming together with you to make something or money could be coming at you your wishes and dreams could be coming true okay all right the outcomes for your month is the energy of the star the energy of the star is positive because that means your wishes and dreams are coming true um, situation um, that was happening in your life changes are coming in because the energy of the star is always the energy of uh, um, you know what is above um, will come down so it's a month to manifest is a really a month to manifest and um, please please use this month to manifest okay whatever the situation is um, use this month to manifest because the energy of the star is your dreams and wishes are coming true encouragement repetition and moving forward so this you know this is positive and uh, um, whenever you have the energy there's success with officials this really really success with uh, officials um, and um, for some of you it's really um, a success with um, and you know there is peace and there is a new start for you okay so um, this is going to be wonderful and powerful so your outcomes is going to be um, the energy of the stair and the energy of the star is always um succession um expect also good news to be coming at you okay and and it's going to be powerful so outcomes um nine of cups nine of cups is good because the energy of the nine of cups is going to be extremely positive i want to say thank you um for being here and i'm wishing you a wonderful 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 um um the coming of, of the month of June. Namaste.